Former Team USA doctor Larry Nazar is serving decades in prison for sexually abusing hundreds of women and girls. The legal fallout from those crimes hit the $1 billion milestone Tuesday as the DOJ announced a nearly $140 million settlement with his victims. More than 100 victims accused the FBI of grossly mishandling allegations of sexual assault against Nazar from 2015 to 2016. The DOJ acknowledged its failure to intervene, saying an internal investigation revealed FBI agents knew of allegations against Nazar and failed to take action. FBI Director Christopher Wray previously apologized on the agency's behalf. The actions and inaction of the FBI employees detailed in this report are totally unacceptable. These individuals betrayed the core duty that they have of, uh, of protecting people. They failed to protect young women and girls from abuse. Rachel Den Hollander was the first person to go public about the abuses she endured under Nazar. She was not part of the latest settlement, but said the settlement is a step in the right direction. I'm deeply grateful. Accountability with the Justice Department has been a long time in coming. Their failures allowed over 100 children to continue being abused, and it is right and just that a measure of accountability has come. But I think it's also important to recognize that this is the first step. The failures that we see happening with the FBI and the Justice Department really are just a blown up picture of what's happening all over the country to survivors that don't have press coverage. Nazar worked at Michigan State University and served as a team doctor for USA Gymnastics. He's now serving decades in prison for assaulting female athletes. Michigan State also stands accused of failing to stop Nazar. The university agreed to pay $500 million to more than 300 women and girls who were assaulted. USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee settled for $380 million. Tuesday's DOJ settlement pushes the combined compensation for victims past $1 billion.